there's definitely that feeling of there's something special, there's something special here, there's something that's there, that's wo- like worth all the effort that we're putting into. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully we'll have a good run, man. The song we just played for you is actually really recent. It happened in a jam room, and Shankar just came up with this riff, and we just sort of started grooving to it, and it was almost like completely written in that one session. Like we had to structure down. Yeah. You know, it usually happens just like that. Like, yeah. Just jam it out. Yeah. And, yeah, it's basically that we just throw in a bunch of ideas, and we don't think about it too much because if we do, we sort of. Trip over ourselves. Yeah, and mock things. Overthinking is it? Yeah, that's how we actually overthought the name Small Talk previously. It was named with two X's, and we sort of messed that up because after every gig, uh, we introduce ourselves again and like tell people to follow us on social media, and we actually have to spell it out. Like people didn't know how to pronounce or like search for us online. Like they 
probably just go smoke smoke smix smixel takes it all I, I, that's one funny pronunciation actually not so yeah so now we've taken the a's out and like just small talk it was just both of us we were writing together and then we were like shit we need somebody else man this is yeah, not going to work <laughs> this whole dj drums is not going to work yeah, yeah. so then uh, i knew johan from a very long time like from college and he was epic bassist and i always wanted to work with him and i thought this would be the perfect time to like probably to get him jam out hopefully he likes us and wants to jam with us and yeah. make music with us and like he did which was great and then we also i think we played balcony tv yeah we did one three of us balcony tv completely different vibe yeah, like a very rock pro vibe yeah, yeah. and we realized them like <laughs> maybe this is this has potential yeah. and like but we definitely need another element a creative element to maybe splice this up yeah. a little more make so, this more interesting that's when shankar was in the picture so music school has been a very enriching place for me uh, not just because of the knowledge and the teachers which is great uh, also the network and the people i've met who i still play with who still feed me ideas to this day also that sense of professionalism that gets into the one as well yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of good places I've noticed that uh, are doing that for musicians in the city. Speaking of which, Benchmark is one of those places, and uh, the great thing about it is accessibility and uh, quality. These are the values that, as a studio, we see to it. Uh, we implement on every stage, and we really like to be uh, fitting into all our clients' budgets, no matter. Uh, how much we have to bend as a studio because at the end of the day we want them to avail to these services and as far as quality is concerned he is the best man to let you know about it we have been obsessed with quality since a long time but i think uh compared to a lot of other studios big studios in bombay the ones that we visited i think we can definitely deliver a quality uh at par if not better correct is what we have aimed for and what we are getting also uh yeah i mean back then i think where these values come from is back then we we would we would jam in a small bedroom uh with one amplifier and <laughs> and that's everyone in one amplifier the vocals the violins uh at times kaushik didn't have a mic so he'd use his earphones <laughs> to sing <laughs> that was weird yeah but it was damn funny yeah but yeah from going through all that um what we've done what we've made sure that that uh these artists have the opportunity uh and the accessibility to get all this now easily and back in the day like uh being just good enough wasn't good enough and uh, for any small artist to avail the kind of services that we give today it wasn't as accessible a few years ago i guess like uh, right now you see so many bands coming out with eps because they have access to you know studio spaces and recording spaces and uh, it's instilling a sort of professionalism in uh, musicians in the city and um, especially influencing the independent music uh, music scene really positively yeah actually speaking about influences so i mean ever since linford or uh, approach me and ask me to join small talk you know be a part of it it's it's really you know been a major influence like i mean right from at right, right now linford is one of the groovyest drummers that i know and it's a treat to play with him yeah oh uh, yeah actually like even like getting influenced by everybody in this band like like for example johan like when he came in like his songwriting is so interesting and like for a bassist also he's like this complete songwriter he produces his own stuff also so he's sonically in a great space like i remember like we had really bad tone <laughs> like we didn't sound really good yeah. until you aren't came back is like a tone came, shaping happens from came when he sorted out all our tones and all of that yeah you know, since you're talking so much about influence and like how i'm sure we keep influencing each other but i remember clearly when shankar came in there was this whole uh, he brought this whole discipline professional vibe to the band i think which we didn't have before which is our jam just to never be as structured and like you know focused and to the point until shankar came in and like after getting to know him like i totally realized that this guy like he wakes up at like 5 5:30 in the morning and practices his guitar i mean that's some intense level of discipline and like it shows like you can see it in the way he plays it's phenomenal and like that's one thing that i like respect and take away from him. and try to like 
get that discipline in me. Because <laughs> the discipline is something my mentors and teachers at music school uh, really stressed. They uh, instilled the importance in me of uh, having a structured routine and focused practice. So that's something I've brought to the table. So I'm sure that's how I'm affecting what's happening with small talk. But how they've affected me is by uh, they're so open-minded and like any idea out there, they don't let it die. They keep it going until it reaches its its best form. I'm sure everyone has their parallel activity. Like I enjoy cooking. You have sports. That like you enjoy football. Uh, those practices instill a certain mindset in you, which you bring to the, which influence the way you. interact with other musicians in a musical setting so that parallel life uh, filtering down into this one activity uh, that we can all relate on is uh, that's what allows great things to happen the ability to work alongside you those are the uh, things that we see to it happens at the studio every time any client walks in that happens because uh, the people that work here at the studio are musicians themselves so they understand the ideologies and not ev- it, it's not necessary that everybody that's going to walk into the studio will understand the environment will understand the gear hence people who are musicians it helps uh, for us as a studio to communicate to our clients and make uh, their lives easier when they walk into the studio and make them feel at home and i think having the value of not just building a great studio but hiring the right people is what makes it special so i think at the end of the day i would say what matters the most are people so like for me the best thing about people is like the ability of us to collaborate and uh, especially with uh, small dog now we've been doing this for like 6 6 months now and uh, i think now it's starting to feel like a family like we're really like getting comfortable with each other really understanding each other's vibe as you guys said the songwriting process now is so much more quicker as compared to what it was when we just started i mean of, like obviously but it's it it there's definitely that feeling of there's something special there's something special here there's something that's there that's worth, like worth all the effort that we're putting into so hopefully we we'll have a good run man